Hi, I'm Esther from Swanborough Funerals and I'd like to go over the information required on pre-planning a funeral and also discuss the difference with you about the difference between in funeral insurance and fixed price funeral plans and also payment plans. But firstly, I'd like to chat about the information that's required from a family when we meet them um, for to organise a funeral service. Now, you must remember that when a family are organising a service and there hasn't been in any pre-planning, they don't always know what their loved one's wishes are. And it is a really emotional and distressing time and they're making decis decisions, financial decisions on how much the funeral costs and also whether their loved one wants a burial or cremation, really important decisions that um, are difficult to make in a vulnerable time and that's why we recommend pre-planning so that you can pre-plan your funeral so that your family know what your wishes are and they can just be given permission to attend the service and to be able to grieve um, for the loss of their loved one. So firstly what's required from us as funeral directors and also by the Register General's office is quite a bit of family information so that person's um, personal details, their place of birth, their uh, date of birth, their parents' details, children's details, marriage details. If you have that pre-written down, that really saves your family having to answer those questions, having to remember those questions. Not everyone knows, for example, their mother's, mother's maiden name. So there's a number of questions there that can be difficult to answer under a distressing time. So firstly, we get that information down together. And then secondly, we have a discussion with um, you about what your pre-wishes are. Do you want burial or cremation? Or would you, do you want a memorial service held? So those kinds of questions we go over, what type of coffin um, that you want, how much money do you want to spend on the funeral, whether you want the service held at a church or at a crematorium chapel or at an alternative venue. These are the sort of questions that we need to know at the time, but if you can pre-plan that, that just takes that distress, less um, decisions for family to make. We also go over things like whether, um, what type of music that you would like played at your service, what type of flowers you want at your service. Um, then we go into detail about how to um, chat about your life story because really in essence a funeral service is about celebrating the person's life, remembering who they were. And so we can go into that, into that detail as well. What we do then is we put a quotation together for you so you have an understanding of what the cost of the service is and then we work out whether you want to prepay your funeral and whether you want to set up a prepayment plan or whether you just want to have a pre-arrangement in place so the family understands what your wishes are. So that's where I'd come to where I'd like to have a, just a brief chat about the difference between funeral insurance and fixed price funeral contracts or payment plans. So funeral insurance is where you pay a certain amount each month, like any other insurance, like house insurance, car, ins car insurance, you pay a certain amount each month to the insurance company to cover you for if you were to pass away and what your funeral would cost. Obviously each year funeral prices change as with everything else and so each year those, that insurance needs to go up. The moment you stop that insurance is the moment that you're not covered. Funeral insurance is about paying a certain amount each month. Funeral payment plans are about pay, also paying a certain amount each month but that goes into a bond and obviously as time goes by that fund increase, increases until you reach the amount that your funeral will be and then what we do is stop that fund, fix the cost of the funeral so there's no more to pay. A fixed price funeral plan is where you pay the lump sum at the, of the funeral at today's prices and there's no more to pay at the time. We agree to provide the services listed in that fixed price funeral contract. Money Smart, the government website, have actually done some statistics around this and um, it, it comes out that if you're paying funeral insurance for a long period of time, you're actually paying way too much for your funeral. You're far better off setting up a funeral payment plan or a fixed price funeral. So we'd like um, to obviously give you more information about this. So if you're interested in coming to one of our information sessions, why not fill out the contact details below and we'll be able to sit down with you um, as a group and discuss the different options that would suit you best as a person. Thank you.